Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, and it reads as follows. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And, and Paul is talking to us about how we give thanks to the Lord, how we praise the Lord, our worship to the Lord. And he says, rejoice always. And that means not just when things go your way, but in the bad ways too, even death, we should thank the Lord, we should rejoice. And the reason that we can rejoice is not because what happened, but because of God. We can have a good day, we can have a bad day. But we rejoice because of God. No matter how bad it is, it will get better. And no matter how good you think it is, there is a place far better than this. So rejoice just because of God. And pray without ceasing. And we should pray all the time. We should give the Lord his due. We should communicate with God. How do you talk to him? How do you hear from him? You pray to him and you wait on him. You communicate with God through prayer. So why wouldn't you pray without ceasing? And you don't need to do no big outlandish prayer. You can sit there in your mind and talk to the Lord. Everything in your body does not need to speak. Just your heart and your mind need to tell him. The fact that he even allows us to communicate with him and he is attentive to our prayers should make us go to God at all times. And then, just like it started out, and everything give thanks. And we don't give thanks for everything. It says, in everything, in everything. That lets us know that God is God. He is there, he is in charge, and this ain't no magic trick on how we go. This isn't roll a dice and these type of things happen. It is because of God. So this is what we should do in everything, give thanks. And then why? Because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Always. It is the will of God. You should do it. Because this is God's will. God's will has made it available for you to be able to Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks. It is God's will that has allowed us to do it. Not that the Lord dictates it to you, but God's will has given you the opportunity. And if you know him, you should be grateful to be able to do these things, and we should do them unto the sovereign Lord. Amen. Amen.